So what's going on? So basically, if you've been curious what the best vehicles to own are in the game come 2020, seven years on after all these updates and stuff, well, these are going to be the videos for you. This this one's going to be covering ground vehicles. I've got I'm going to have one coming up on aerial vehicles like uh, helicopters, planes, and whatnot, and then an overall like kind of top five vehicles you want to own. But this right here, this is going to be like these are the top ten ground vehicles that you should probably own in GTA. So first off, you're going to want some sort of bike especially if you're a new player if you're an MC president you can just spawn it like immediately next to you send it back spawn it back getting an oppressor mark 2 is the best option for when you're being an MC president but if you're starting out early in the game getting an oppressor mark 2 is real pricey and until you can afford one bikes are like literally oh shit Oh god, no! No! Bikes, most of these are gonna be like really cheap and very affordable. Like, I think they're all on Southern San Andreas, or most of them are. I think a couple of high-end ones are on the, are on Legendary, but they're all the way down here. They're all like relatively affordable. Some more than others, but honestly, if you're just starting off and you're waiting to get an oppressor, just go with like, where is it? God, this is going to take forever to find in this maze. I think it is all the way at the bottom. Yep, all the way down here. The Bati 801, like the original motorcycles perform just fine until you can afford an oppressor. And they look pretty dope. So that would be number 10. On to number 9. Alright. Coming in at number 9 is going to be a Night Shark. Now, I don't use this very often, but this vehicle is unique in one very important sense. Shut up, LJT! LJT. This vehicle with someone inside of it is extremely explosive resistant. Oh, I don't know if losing my doors is going to affect that or not. But, um, like, this thing can eat, like, several, several oppressor missiles before it being blown up. Like, I think it takes almost the entirety of an oppressor to destroy it. Um, let's see. I mean, I think it's more armor resistant while you're actually inside of it, though. And cars blowing up next to it are also going to mess with it. It's going to do extra damage. Let's see. Yeah. Like, I think it's a little bit more armor resistant when you're actually inside of it. But having a car that's extremely existent to explosives that can also move very quickly is, uh... It's cool. It's a good thing to, uh... It's a good thing to have. Get out of there! Oh shit! Oh. Let's start. No, I'm gonna die. Beat the snarks. Let's start. No. <laughs> Fuck. So, number eight is going to be an Arena War vehicle of some kind. Now, you're going to need to own an Arena War workshop if you want one of these. And they can get very pricey. But these vehicles are some of the most ridiculous vehicles in the game. They have unique properties to them, like shunt boosting, like... They, you can put on, like, like that heavy truck, the Cerberus, just plows through people. You know what? I'm going to take the Cerberus, actually. But any, like, just owning one of these cars, like, especially the bike over here, 
the um, the future apocalypse version, there's like a glitch where if you're going on a wheelie, it's actually the fastest land vehicle in the game. Um, not the uh, the future the not the future version here, but the apocalypse version. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that. I'll need to look into that. If you're curious, please ask, and I'll try to comment the video or something. But yeah, owning one of these vehicles is absurd. These things, even this big truck. Like, they can jump, they can, they can, they can do shunt boosts, they can leave mines, like, they have ridiculous weapons, like, the shunt boosting thing is honestly the best part of all of this, but yeah, oh, these are some of the most unique vehicles in the game, and it's totally worth it to own at least one of them, if you want to have some pure chaos. And just a good time driving around. <laughs> All right. So on to number seven. That's this bad boy right here that you can barely see. It's shining so bright. The Ocelot Pariah. Now this right here is one of the fastest and best performing cars in the game. And it's not that pricey. So, uh, coming in, I think. Let me if I can find it in the in this maze. At 1.42 million, and sometimes it goes on sale even. But this car is a sports car, and it beats many many supercars. This is one of the best performing cars in the game, and for the price, it's hard to it's hard to knock it. If you're ever doing races and you have to use like a specific class, like having a sports car class car that's good is a, is a good thing to have. And this right here, this is what you want to get. Now, uh, on to number six. All right. Now, here at number six, you're going to want to have some sort of hyper car. Now, really, a lot of these control very... Like, there, there are slight differences... Um, it's fun, like, if you have a friend who's got something maxed out that you'd like to toy with before trying it, that that would definitely be the best move. Because there are, like, out of all these, I'd say probably the XA-21, the T-20, the, uh, the Osiris, the Tesseract, the FMJ, they all perform very, very, very well. So, like, it's just good to have a hypercar. In case you're ever doing races in that sense, or if you just want to like move quickly around the map. I mean, the new F1 cars are pretty dope, but they can be destroyed very like if you like crash or like flip into something, like your body and chassis can just go flying off, and like the car starts drastically underperforming. So you're gonna want just instead like a hyper car of some kind. But yeah, all right, on to number five. So. Coming in at number five, right here, this beast, this absolute beast of a vehicle, the APC. Now, well, the APC and also the tank over there. Like, having a vehicle that you can have, that you can just wage war with on the ground is really good. Unfortunately, with the oppressors being a thing... Both this and the tank can be swarmed by, like, several oppressor missiles very quickly. What's cool about this bad boy is with the SAM turret on top, you can just start lighting people up. But you need to research that in the bunker. This is also amphibious, so you can go out on the water. But yeah, owning a vehicle like this, like, you're bulletproof from all sides except for the very, very front. So, you're not going to be getting shot. This or the Kanjali over there, if you um, if you haven't unlocked the turret on the top for the for the APC, the Kanjali over here is pretty nice too. But yeah, these these uh having a tank kind of vehicle where you can just wreak havoc in on the map is a really cool kind of thing to have and invest in. So that's what I would put at number five. Now for numbers four through one. This is all just sort of subjective. Like, um, 
to each their own. But like the any of these could be number one as far as I'm concerned. But um, coming in at number four, got the Stromberg right here. Now this beastly beast of a beastly beast car is a submarine car that has oppressor missiles inside of it. Doesn't have particularly good explosive resistance or anything, but you can go under the water and you can fire missiles up that will go out of the water and go in the air and kill people and they cannot hit you because you are under the water. Having one of these cars, the, the oppressor missiles on it, they track way better than normal missiles. It's just a badass car. It's a submarine car. You want to be James Bond? You should get it. For the record, the Deluxo right here, I've, I'm going to include that in the aerial vehicles, but this would probably be number one if I wasn't doing that. This thing is back to the future, and it flies, and it's, it's ridiculous. But I'm not going to include it because it flies. So it's not on this list. And you know what? I was going to put this at number one, but since I'm here, I'm just going to put it here at number three. The Vigilante. Hey, the Vigilante okay. right here is awesome for several reasons. Um, number one, it's the Batmobile. <laughs> number two, uh, it, it does not appear... Like, you'll notice on the map when you're driving around that certain vehicles will have certain icons. Like, right now, you can even see my Oppressor Mark II on the map right here. And you can clearly tell, even though it says Personal Vehicle, that the little icon means it's an Oppressor Mark II. When you're driving this Vigilante around, it doesn't show up as anything other than a dot. So people don't know that you're coming at them in this ridiculous monstrosity of a car. Not to mention, it holds 30 lockable missiles that act like oppressor missiles that are very, very good at lock. I don't think they're the exact same, but they have very good lock-ons. You just have to be careful you don't kill yourself. And another really awesome, awesome thing about this car, which is why I was going to put it at number one. Honestly, it is my number one, but since I have to travel to go see the other two cars, I'm just going to put it here at number three. You can use this on, like, heist setup missions. On like the old Doomsday heist setup missions and the old pack standard heist setup missions, you can choose this from your personal cars. You can't use the oppressor, you can't use other shit like that, but you can use these right here. This right here. <clears throat> and that on top of the fact that, you know what, I'm taking this out right now. The oppressor Mark I over there is an awesome ground vehicle as well. But it's kind of outclassed by the Mark II at this point, which is going to be on my aerial vehicles. So this Batmobile has boosting, and it also just plows through traffic as if it wasn't there, except I'm going to crush immediately. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> okay. But yeah, this car is awesome. It literally will just plow through traffic. Like, please get out of my way. I've got... I've got... I've got a, I've got a city to save. <laughs> yeah. This is my number three, for sure. On to number two. Number two. In all of its glory. The Karuma. This car right here is one of the best cars in the fucking game. For the simple fact that no matter how much you shoot these windows or shoot this car up, it will never, ever, 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 ever get destroyed or let you get shot in it. And so what that means is that you can drive around not public maps, because, you know, oppressors will still take this out in one missile. But when you're going on missions, and you can choose a car, do you know how easy having a, a vehicle like this makes some missions? Because you, you choose this vehicle, and you can just shoot people out of the front with this micro Uzi. When you're a driver, I don't think you can aim in the back 
like right here, there's a blind spot you can't shoot at. You can shoot here, you can shoot here. Like, you have almost 360 degrees range of motion and you can just shoot people in the head and kill them. And they're, they're constant, the NPCs will constantly shoot your car and it won't fucking matter. So, having a vehicle, I, I'm sure that there may be one or two other vehicles that are completely bulletproof like this, but this is the tried and true go-to car for being a bullet, like, fortress. Any explosion, you're fucked. So if you're on a mission where there's like a buzzard that might shoot a missile down at you, be aware. This has like almost zero explosive resistance. But like, when you use a night shark, you still, it's not completely bulletproof, so you end up getting shot by NPCs. So if you're doing a mission where there's lots of bullets but no explosions, you cannot ask for a better car than this. But number, on to number one. The best ground vehicle in the game. And honestly, more as I was driving the Vigilante, I came to this realization that it really just is. This one's the best. The number one vehicle. The, the classic scramjet. The class, I don't know. The scramjet. This fucking car right here is the speed racer car in its like, into like, let me just show you. This is the best vehicle. This is the best ground vehicle. <laughs> that right there is the reason. Like this thing LJT. is absolutely absurd. Um, it's like some like of the most fun you're gonna have in the game. Well, but... Flying around the map, like, shut up LJT. Like you literally like, it's it's so ridiculous, and it's got oppressor missiles, and you can also use regular guns, which is dope. Like, if you want to be a crazy person. But you can also use friggin... What has it got? Come on, come on, come on. Missiles. Goddamn oppressor's quality missiles. Almost. Like, have you ever seen an oppressor griefing around, and you're like, oh, fuck that guy. Oh, get real high in the air, and just, hey, he's gonna be like, LJT. "What is that?" And then you just blast just him with missiles. Your meth cook on the other Shut up, LJT. But yeah, this car is absolutely insane, and um, some of the most fun you're gonna have in a car. Like, I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite vehicles in the entire game. So, you can't use it on a lot of missions and stuff, obviously, for you know, reasons that should be apparent, but, I mean, I would be happy if you could, but you know, whatever. What are you gonna do? This is it. Boom. There you go. I hope you, uh, I hope you liked. I hope you enjoyed. Um, those are just my thoughts. Like I said, the top four, five, like, those are all kind of just subjective. And these are just my opinions on it. I'm sure there's some vehicles out there that are, that have their own merits. And I didn't, this was more just ground vehicles in general. Um, if you wanted to get into like the top 10 best just like cars, straight up cars that weren't weaponized in any way, there's there's definitely room for that kind of list as well. Um, if, you, if you're interested, please comment and let me know about that. I'm fucking rambling. You know the spiel. 10, 10 best vehicles. Like, subscribe, check out the shit, check out the channel, all that stuff. All of it helps. I really appreciate you watching and stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. God, that's pretty. Bam! Whatever, the video is good enough. You know what? Now I'm going to do it. For the record. Look at this shit. Look how high this thing goes. And how far it goes. Like, that's ridiculous. I just jumped over that building. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this car is awesome.